Yesterday it was raining a bit, today it's fully snowing it seems like. I guess it'll stick around for a bit longer. I personally like it, just for the scenery and stuff like that. And what's going on today? Today a lot of companies were announcing all their CES 2022 stuff. Lots of stuff to I guess go over, trying to catch up. But I guess one of the biggest things was Skydeal announcing a new drone. Apparently they're announcing here the Skydeal 2 Plus. So how do they describe it? It says introducing Skydeal 2 Plus and Keyframe. Creative intelligence for mind bending shots plus more flight time plus more range. Skydeal 2 Plus is everything you love about Skydeal 2 plus more of what you asked for. Fly longer with a new Skydeal 2 Plus battery offering 20% more flight time. Fly farther with a new antenna design on Skydeal 2 Plus enabling up to 6 km range when flying with the controller or up to 3 km when flying with the improved Skydeal 2 Plus beacon. So from reading this, I guess picture quality wise it should be the same but I guess this is one of the big things they're focusing on here. It says here Keyframe is a groundbreaking new software skill enabling and possibly mind bending cinematography available now for Skydeal 2 and Skydeal 2 Plus owners. Design smooth, precise and repeatable camera motion. Pick your keyframes with a few taps and let Skydeal Autonomy fly a smooth continuous camera path for you. Play it back in any direction at any speed as many times as you want. Hollywood quality cinematography anywhere, anytime. So they show some video clips and all that and it does look really impressive and as they say you basically tap on certain spots and then you'll say I want to start here, end off there and then the drone will take off capturing cinema quality footage. So this will basically replicate I guess a lot of FPV I guess style drones where you've seen them again go across various obstacles go maybe inside out of buildings I don't know if that would be a good idea with this but it'll give you that type of effect without I guess requiring all the years of practice and skill in terms of what they're trying to I guess imply here anyways. Now how about the price because usually with any drones if they're too expensive then it's off the list for many people. It says here the starter kit is $1,099 and you can basically choose from a wide variety of them up to one that has, like it says here, the Pro package is $2,169. It seems like the main difference between the packages are things such as how many batteries that you get in the package, the propellers, and things like cases and all that. I would say in this case, it's one of those situations at minimum where if you held off buying a drone, specifically let's just say Skydio, then it just makes sense to buy this one. More battery life, better range, so why not? At the same time, will you wait for like a Skydio 3? I don't think they'll announce one during the CES or maybe they will, who knows. The more competition, the better anyways, in my opinion. And with that in mind, again, there was so much stuff being announced during the CES. So just going through some of them quickly, I was interested in reading what's happening in the world of processors. It seems like Intel announced their 12th gen Intel Core and it says here, it goes up to 5.5 gigahertz. That's a lot of power. And you would wonder, well, how about AMD? Because I know in the past, AMD has pretty much been killing Intel. They didn't really announce, I guess, the Zen 4 stuff in general. That's kind of what I was interested in. That will be known as the 7000 series. And they say in the presentation, all of them at minimum are running at 5 gigahertz as well. So they're getting faster. Whether or not, again, they will be affordable or with things, for example, like the chip shortages, will people actually be able to get their hands on them? Nvidia has some announcements too with a graphics card. Apparently there's an RTX 3090 Ti that will be coming out. It says it has, what, 24 gigabytes of GDDR-R6X. Who knows what the price of this will be, but again, this thing will probably be expensive compared to the previous models, which a lot of people, again, are having difficulties actually finding. They also seem to focus as well on things, for example, like vehicles. I guess specifically autonomous vehicles. So they're showing off, I guess, a vehicle driving by itself, as this is probably the way of the future for a lot of manufacturers. I don't know if we're actually ready for it yet. And it'll be a while until we see people use these in an everyday, I guess, scenario where they could literally just, I guess, sleep in their car as it drives them from one place to another. Because to my understanding, for people who are testing stuff like this currently, you have to actually be alert, be ready to take the wheel whenever necessary. Although with things like vehicles, this one was kind of odd. It says here what? The LG Vision Omnipod, a futuristic cabin that can reconstruct the customer's space for a range of needs. 
Apparently this is supposed to be an autonomous vehicle as well, but with all these features and an AI assisted guide, if that's what you want to say anyways, or a virtual assistant. So much stuff to go over. I'm still kind of trying to see what new cameras and stuff are out too, in terms of, I guess, ones that are extremely innovative. See you guys later.